Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of my full campaign walkthrough on Starfield. In this series, I'm covering every single campaign mission and giving you a brief guide on how to complete it. But most importantly, I'll highlight any key items or collectibles and any loot that you may want to get through the mission. I cover every single mission on Starfield in this way. So if you want to watch some more missions, go down to the video description, go into my Starfield playlist that is linked there, and you'll find them all inside that playlist. So in this video, we are covering the Empty Nest. The Empty Nest is a mission along with two others that opens up after the second main campaign mission, The Old Neighborhood, and it starts just like every other early mission in the game at the Lodge. And inside the lodge as you enter the library, there's a garden to the left side. There's an NPC out here called Sam and you just need to interact with him. In fact, as soon as you walk towards him, you'll automatically go into a conversation and the dialogue choices here don't really matter. You, Sam and your crew are going to be heading over to the Cheyenne star system. And you'll be going to a planet called Aquila. Once you're there, just set your landing zone to Aquila City and land. Just a little tip before we continue, I think Cheyenne may be a little bit out of reach for the starting ship that you're given. So you haven't upgraded that. It might be red on the star system map. If it is, you won't be able to travel directly to it. But hover over it and it will give you like a line for a route that you need to take. So just follow that line and go to each star system on that line until you can eventually get there. That's how all red star systems will work on this map. Once you do land at Aquila City, just head over to Sam to start an interaction. And during the conversation, you've got to click on Understood Let's Get Going to start this mission off. Sam is then going to be locked as your companion once you do that. So if there's anything you want to do first, just click on Hold On and go and do what you need to do. Because the second you've done this, you won't be able to switch your companion until the end of this mission. This was my first visit to Aquila City. And if it's your first visit as well, which is quite likely, this guy here at the gate to it, it's got to stop you as you enter. There's a side mission that you're going to need to complete before you do anything called Job Gone Wrong. Now, if you've already completed this side mission, you won't be stopped at this gate and you can skip this step. But because I think most people won't have been here yet, I will cover this side mission for you. I don't think you can go wrong in this conversation with this NPC, but make sure you choose the options that say that you want to help them. The Job Gone Wrong side mission will now become an objective on the main mission that you're on. And you just need to go and head over to the objective marker right in front of you where you're going to speak to the marshal. Basically, the bank that you need to get into as part of the main mission has been taken over and there's some hostages, which is stopping you from going to the bank to do what you need to do. So while you're discussing with the marshal, just let him know that you can maybe talk some sense into them because you're now able to try and persuade the people that are hijacked the bank to let the hostages go. If you're able to do this, this will be the easiest way to end this side mission. I wasn't able to, but I will explain how this works now. You'll go to this intercom at the main entrance, and there's going to be two times that you can try and persuade this bank robber to let the hostages go. When talking to the bank robber, just make sure that when the first persuade option comes up, I give you my word, I just want to help, that you select that. Now, this first persuasion isn't going to be able to work you, you know you're not going to persuade him to release the hostages the first time round. however it's all about gaining his trust at this point so that's what you're trying to do now i failed so i'm not going to really go through all of the options i chose you can see it on screen now but you're trying to get the persuasion bars at the bottom filled out in the three turns that you've got and it's very much by chance that you're going to be able to do this after you finish your first persuasion attempt, you'll have another conversation with the bank robber and then a second persuasion attempt will pop up as a dialogue option. When it does, just make sure you select it's not too late to end this peacefully to go into that second attempt. And it's this attempt that you can persuade the bank robber to release the hostages. Again, I did fail at this, so I'm not going to show you all the choices that I made. It is highly based on chance and you also have the persuasion skill in your skill set, the higher that is, the higher chance you have. And again, you are just trying to fill out all those persuasion bars at the bottom in the three turns that you have. If you're successful, the bank robber will let the hostages go, and it's going to be the end of the side mission. If not, though, like me, you are going to have to find a different way. If you failed like I did, just head back to the marshal, and you're now going to discuss what options you have. The two options you have at this point is to again speak to the bank robber on the intercom and persuade him 
to let you inside with your weapons and you'll deal with it that way. But I preferred the option of sneaking around the back and doing a sneak attack. So head to the back door as this way is going to be slightly easier. And what I mean by that is uh, there's loads of outcomes now as you head in here that can happen. And you really don't want to harm any of the hostages. If you go through the front door, it's a little bit more difficult. You might not be allowed in there with your weapons. And uh, they're, they're all going to be there right in front of you. As this way, you can kind of sneakily take them out. And you've definitely got your weapons with you. So once inside the back, just have a look at the blue markers there. You can see where all the enemies are that you need to kill. And you just want to take your time now and take out all of the bank robbers. Again, be very mindful that you cause no harm to any of the hostages and if you purposely kill the hostages you will be in a lot of trouble once you kill the bank robber leader just loot his body because you're going to get the front door key to the bank and then head to the front door to exit the best case scenario here is that you're able to kill all of the bank robbers without causing any harm to the hostages and hopefully the bank robbers didn't cause harm to them either if they did, it should be okay though because you never done it. Uh, just head back over to the marshal to let him know how it went. He'll be happy with the outcome and say your free star ranger material. He'll ask you to go and find Emma Wilcox to sort that out. That'll open up another side mission for you. But the job gone wrong side mission will be completed and you can now continue on with the main quest, the empty nest. And for that, you now just want to head back into the bank via the front door. Once inside, head downstairs and you're going to find a load of secure storage lockers. Some of these lockers you're going to be able to interact with, which requires a key, and there's going to be some loot inside. Inside one of these lockers are meant to be some maps that Sam needs, and be very careful because some lockers will have a red icon on, which means you'll be stealing instead of looting what you're meant to. When you finally find the right locker, instead of the maps, you're going to find a note for Sam. Once you've done that, you just need to interact with Sam. You can select any dialogue option that you want here, but one option will be to persuade Sam to level with you and tell you who Jacob is. If you're successful, he'll tell you that Jacob is his dad. And then you'll get a new objective marker that takes you to the other side of the city. Just follow that to enter the co estate. Jacob and Sam are going to bicker, and eventually you're going to have your say. With Jacob, you can select whatever option you want there, really. And at the end of it, you're going to get three options on how to proceed. You can ask Cora for help, which Sam won't like. Cora is Sam's daughter and he won't want you to get her involved. You can talk to Jacob and try and persuade him. Or you can talk to Jacob and have Sam distract him. Now just speak with Jacob and I suggest that you try to persuade him to be reasonable and hand over the maps. If he's successful, he'll do that. But I wasn't successful and instead I had to get Sam to distract him. If you also fail with the persuasion, you're just going to interact with Jacob again and then select the distraction command. And then while Sam is distracting Jacob, you're able to use a pick lock on the door to get it open. And then once inside, you're able to steal the maps that will be right in front of you with the objective marker. And with the maps in hand, just speak to Sam again and you'll be on your way. You'll now have a little bit of a way to travel with a new objective marker taking you to the empty nest. When you do approach it, be very careful because there will be traps set about the area. And there are a lot of enemies that you're going to need to take care of. Once the area is clear, there's obviously going to be a lot of loot now in the area for you to collect. And I want to show you some of the key loot that you're going to want to find. So starting at the back of the area here, we can see the objective marker right in front of you. You just want to follow where I go now into this left building to find a short gang welcome collectible. As well as that collectible, there's a lot of other loot that you can find in this building as well. So make sure you loot up. And then once that's looted, just head back outside to where we were. And you're now going to want to loot the right hand side building here, this yellow building, where you'll also find another collectible called Broken Everything. From that collectible there, if you just look to the left, there's going to be some fridges. And in the top left corner, you're going to find another collectible called Tag You Are It. 
Now just loot everything else that you can find in the area and then head to the main objective. This will take you inside of the empty nest where you're going to go and get an artifact piece. But there are some more enemies in your way and some more loot. So start by taking out the enemies. And once all the gang members are dead, just loot their bodies because one of them will have the short gang key on them, which you're going to need to open the gate ahead. Before you go ahead and open that gate though, be sure to loot the area. There's some great loot here, including this contraband cache. The contraband cache is an expert level, so unless you've got your security skill upgraded, you're not going to be able to do this. If you do though, make sure you open it because it's going to have some items of very high value. Before we end this video guide, I will advise you on how to sell these items without getting scanned and without getting into trouble. Now you've looted and the enemies have gone and you've picked up the Shogun cave key, just push forward and open the gate and head to the objective marker. Once you reach it, just use your cutter and then interact with the artifact to pick it up. With the artifact in hand, you'll need to leave the empty nest and as you get outside, there's going to be an NPC called Shaw with a lot of other enemies that are not going to be too happy with you. During your conversation, you're going to have three options. You can try and persuade them, you can pay 4,000 credits, or you can attack. I highly recommend that you choose to persuade. And the only option that I needed to choose to persuade her was the easy option. Shaw will let you and Sam go without anyone getting hurt. As you leave the conversation though, everybody is going to start getting attacked by Ashta. And at this point, you can just leave and leave them all to it. But it's an optional objective to help them kill them. Just go around and kill the objective markers and get rid of all that Ashta. And be very careful you don't shoot any of the other NPCs. I actually just shot one then. It's going to turn them against you and you end up attacking the team anyway. So try and kill all that Ashta without harming anyone else. But if you do, just clear all the other enemies as well, including Shaw, and grab all of their loot. You're now ready to finish the mission and head back to the lodge to place the artifact at the table. But if you did manage to pick up that contraband like I did, I just want to quickly explain how to get rid of it because you can't take that home with you. Just bring up the galaxy system here and head to the wolf star system. Once here, there is a space station called the Den and you just want to travel here. And once there, you'll need to approach the Den so that you can dock it. Once inside, just go forward and to the left and you're going to have a trade authority NPC. This guy will buy the contraband off you. Just make sure that you sell him anything that you picked up that has the yellow icon because the yellow icon indicates it is contraband. And if you try to head into a star system that scans you with a yellow item, you will get caught and it will be taken off you. You could get into further trouble. If for whatever reason the vendor credits run out and you can't sell them all your contraband, there is some seats here that you can sit on. And then you just need to advance the time forward 48 hours. So do it for 24 hours and then 24 hours again. This will then reset the vendor credit. You can go back to the vendor and sell some more items. With all that done now, just head back to the Alpha Centauri star system and fast travel back to the lodge on Jemison. Once at the lodge, you just need to place the artifact on the table in the center like with all of the others. And then this is going to be the end of this mission. Sam is also going to want to talk to you and you'll be able to add Sam to your crew. And that brings us to the end of this video. Again, if you have found this helpful, don't forget to like and share it, subscribe for more content. If you want to see any other main mission on Starfield done in this way, go and check out the video description to find my Starfield playlist where I cover all main campaign missions. Thank you so much for watching this, and until next time, stay safe and peace out.